Turning on 600 watt LED lights with a small DC motor. I'm going to turn on a 600 watt LED bulb by rotating the flywheel and generator with a small motor. First of all, I need to find the proper generator for this project. I found a fluid pump for the lab, and I found a small DC motor there. DC motor can also be used as a DC generator because it uses permanent magnets. This DC motors are not too large and can be easily rotated with low cogging torque. This means that the small motor can easily rotate the generator. I want to check the life of the carbon brush. The length of carbon brush size is enough and the spring is good. Also the other side carbon brush size is enough and the spring is good too. The parts required in this project are as shown here, including one motor, one generator, and two flywheels. Let's start assembling the mini generator system. This is 8.5 kilogram flywheel. Also, I added a small flywheel of 1.5 kilograms. The motor I chose has a small power output, so it requires additional torque to drive a relatively large generator. And this flywheel can add enough torque to turn on the lights. The way to store a lot of energy in flywheel is to increase the size or increase the number of revolutions. It is difficult to drive when the flywheel size is raised, so in the case of this system, I decided to increase the rotational force. So that this small motor can easily turn the flywheel, I decided to drive it at a ratio of 31 using a timing belt. The two pulleys need to be aligned well, otherwise, high-speed rotations will cause a lot of noise and vibrations. And to reduce noise and vibration, this flywheel was manufactured with great precision.
The motor and the flywheel are now connected. Now it's time to install the DC generator. The generator support is designed to align the flywheel axis with the generator axis. The jointer used here works by connecting the torque of the other two axes and absorbing the errors of the axes that are slightly misaligned. Now it's time to tighten the jointer's screws. It spins smoothly. I prepared a plastic board to install the light bulbs. My plan is to turn on six bulbs because the capacity of the selected flywheel makes it difficult to turn on more than six bulbs for a long time. The light board's wire connection is complete. I installed a small electrical switch too. This type of LED light is selected because it operates at DC-AC voltage. The system is ready for testing now. Now we finally assemble it together. Let's run the system first. Multimeters connected to measure the output voltage of the generator and DC motors power is on. Now the output voltage is gradually increasing. Also, the RPM is increasing together. I've spent a lot of time trying to reduce the vibration of the flywheel, so we can barely see the vibration. The output voltage is now over 100 volts. This increasing voltage is sufficient to turn on the light set. RPM has already reached 3000. The kinetic energy is constantly accumulating in the two flywheels from the small motor. Let's find out the maximum RPM and voltage. Let it run continuously.
the current output voltage has reached 140 volts. Yeah, flywheel RPM reached 3600 with smooth operation. As the RPM and voltage slowly increase, it seems to be reaching its peak now. I'm holding the system because it's moving. Now, in this video, the flywheel looks almost fixed, but when I look at it with the naked eye, I can see that it's spinning at a great speed. I think the RPM and voltage are the maximum now. So I turned off the motor power. All sparkling power comes from the kinetic energy of the flywheel. The generator output test is now complete. All right, let's turn the six LED lights on. The power of the generator increases in proportion to the number of revolutions of the motors. Please bear with me until the LED light is on. I will turn on the switch when the RPM is enough. Right now, the voltage is enough. Please like and subscribe to my channel before the lights turn on. Also turn on notifications. The kinetic energy continues to build up in the flywheel.
It's almost time to switch on. Now reach the maximum voltage, I'll turn on the switch. You can see that the six light bulbs consume the kinetic energy of the flywheels. So, when the LED lights are turned on, the voltage drops and the RPM decreases. This proves that six light bulbs could be turned on because of the kinetic energy of the 10 kilogram of flywheels. Thank you for your watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.